Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to be talking about how to use a crystal ball like the 60 millimeter photography ball to use with your non-contact panels to turn it into a skin contact device. Now with non-contact red light therapy, you get massive amount of reflection losses. If you have Caucasian skin, it's usually around 60% reflection losses, which is substantial. And you know, some brands and influencers have kind of talked about the skin reflection losses, but they conveniently don't talk about the other aspects of skin contact, which is the compression of the skin and really blanching out the, the blood that's on the superficial layers of the skin to really enhance that penetration deeper. So you can't just keep cranking up the intensity of a non-contact panel and think you're getting deeper penetration. In fact, if you get too much intensity, then that's inviting more blood flow and it, it causes vasodilation and that causes less penetration. So when you're heating the skin with too high of intensity, you can't overcome the penetration losses from non-contact. You're actually just making it worse. You're getting less penetration with higher intensities that cause heating. So you can see here my thumb is hovering right over the ball, but what, once I start pressing into it, you can see how much more penetration I get when I release it. I go down, and once you get that penetration, because it's not just the reflection losses, it's the compression of the skin and blanching out that blood. And I was actually reminded of this technique when I was reading the book Phototherapy by Niels Ryberg Finson that he published in 1903, that he had a problem with penetration. And instead of cranking up the intensity, he found some sort of convex lens that he compressed the patient's skin to enhance the penetration because he knew it was pushing out the blood, the superficial blood from that area to enhance penetration. So we're about 18 inches away from our Gemba Red overclock panel here, and we get about 28 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So again, that's really good for a full body panel. Most of the studies used about 28 milliwatts per centimeter squared, but we have to appreciate that full body light therapy is more of a superficial and systemic light therapy, and it's not a deep penetration targeted therapy. And here's a quick clip from Dr. Hamblin that says as much that in contrast to lasers, full body panels are more of a systemic treatment. You know, a lot of them are lasers. Some of them are quite high power lasers, but I think as time goes on, LEDs are becoming much more common. So because of this systemic effect that I mentioned, whole body photobiomodulation. So he's been very clear on that in other papers too. There's one paper that also notes that there's an apparent lack of penetration with full body panels. And that's why sometimes they don't even perform as well for muscle recovery compared to the skin contact devices that they usually use. But perhaps if we want to get the best of both worlds, we can line it up with a crystal ball. So even here, if we line up our crystal ball, we get a big focal point that ends up almost 150 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So again, that brings it down to a very narrow spot because it's converging it. It's almost like a magnifying glass. And so it's bringing it to almost like a laser-like spot. And then if you're just standing in front of a full body panel, you can get that deeper penetration, kind of like how the studies use lasers. If you do a couple discrete spots, just hold it there for 20 or 30 seconds and then go around your body. So that way maybe you can get, get a combination of the deeper penetration that you can only really get not only compensating for the reflection losses but for getting that compression and a little bit of pressure into the skin and it compresses you know you can see it compresses a couple millimeters into the skin already so you're giving yourself a free couple millimeters and you're blanching out the blood and you're enhancing the intensity so you just go around different points of your body while you're standing in front of your panel and maybe you can get the best of both worlds and another hack i wanted to mention is that the opposite is also true is that if you can cool the skin you actually get deeper penetration. Think about if you do a cold plunge or you put ice on your skin or your, your skin is very cold, it looks very pale. It looks much more transparent. And then that's been documented to be true. Your skin literally gets more optically transparent because it's colder. And what happens when you're colder, your blood gets drained out of the superficial layers of the skin. So you get better optical transparency with 
coldness. And again, the opposite is true. If you heat up your skin, then it's inviting more blood flow and increases the size of your blood vessels and that causes less penetration. So the hack here is that you could actually put this ball in the freezer or if it's in the winter, put it in the snow, cool down this ball as kind of like a little ice cube. And then you're getting much better penetration because now you get the skin contact, you're getting the coldness and you can really optimize your penetration with this nice hack. So anyway, try it out and let us know what you think.